Welcome back to the Cool Fab Racing British Mini Bikes Championship. It's the Mini Moto Elite Class. Get ready for some action in this one. Emmanuel Brinton running the 93 bike with six podiums this year goes off uh, pole. He's got one race, race win as well. Evan Belford with two race wins this year goes off P2. Off P3, it's Ryan Hitchcock, the 10 year old from Wiltshire, five podiums this year. Then Mason Foster riding an air cooled bike with no restrictor. He goes off P4. Joe Farraher comes next off P5, the 12 year old from Northwich. Sullivan Mousy comes next for Blatter and Hyundai Power Equipment. From P7, Josh Bannister will certainly have to dial up the Dunsley heat to get that bike going, the eight year old from Nuneaton. Then comes Johnny Garness, I would say out of position for the man riding the 57 bike off P8. Off P9, it's Luca Hopkins, 10 years of age from Oxfordshire. Then comes Bailey Stewart Campbell with 13 podiums and four race wins, well out of position for Bailey. James Cook comes next, he's also out of position with four podiums. Troy Jeffrey goes off P12, nine year old from Kelso. It's the 2018 champion, Casey O'Gorman going off P13, the back of the grid. He's here for some fun. Now, having spent all the time doing the graphics for the grid position, Belford, Stuart, Campbell and Jeffrey don't start, Jake. So we're down to 10 already. Look at the start from Casey O'Gorman from the back of the field. He's already passed four riders. So he's up into P6 already. Absolutely amazing. And make that five because he's gone round the outside now into P5. He's here for a play. He's even having a crack at fourth already, but it's Hitchcock who leads the way, looking for his sixth podium finish. And up the inside, Casey O'Gorman has made a move or two, and that's put him into, what is that? Is that third, fourth position? Goodness me. Incredible stuff from Casey O'Gorman. He's come here to have some fun this weekend. I'm not sure whether he took part in time qualifying. I don't think but, he did, no. he's so... decided to, to start from the back of the grid anyway. I understand from talking to his dad earlier on, they've been riding out in Spain. He did a Moto5 race out there, finished fifth in his first Moto5 race as he looks for third place past Johnny Garnes. Can't quite get that done at the moment. I say at the moment, it looks like it's coming. But unfortunately, he's had to sell his bikes to be able to do that, which is uh, quite sad. If you are watching this championship, you've uh, got a business, you're interested in motorcycling, you'll see with the grid positions at the start as we get a change of lead. That's Brinton. That's, uh, Brinton through to the lead, set the fastest lap, by the way. If uh, you'll see in the grid positions at the beginning, a lot of the time you see where the guys come from. If you've got riders in your area and want to get in touch with them to give them a little, little bit of support, then uh, please get in touch with me and I'll put you in touch with the families. But uh, Casey O'Gorman doesn't look like Jake. If he sold his bikes, I was thinking about this earlier, I guess that means he won't be defending his titles next year here. And that means that this race could be his last in Coolfab for quite a while if he's going to be racing in Spain. So this could be a momentous moment for Casey O'Gorman. No wonder he wants to win. If this could be his last race in Coolfab, he could bow out as the top dog as he tries to snit his way around the outside of Garnes as back into the lead has gone Hitchcock. Brinton's now going to try and come back at him once more. Garnes in third position. O'Gorman in fourth place. Fifth is Sullivan Mouncey and Mason Foster's there in P6 as O'Gorman tries again. Can't find the way through on the inside, but this is absolutely the race we wanted to end the season as O'Gorman knits up the inside, gets third position on Garnes. Really nice move there. Now, how much further up the field can he go from the back? Six riders, line astern. Second already! Second is... already! And it's... through as well goes uh, Garnes there up the inside. So that is... And it's Garnes... O'Gorman, sorry for the lead! O'Gorman gets Hitchcock for the lead. And Mouncey goes through the fourth at the same time, drops uh, Brinton back to fifth. But this is the best Junior LC Mini Moto Elite race we have ever seen, not just this year. This is the best race so far. Absolutely terrific. There's six of them still very much in contention for the win. O'Gorman, Hitchcock, Garnis, Mouncey, Brinton, Foster. Josh Bannister's not a million miles away either in seventh place. So it could well be a seven bike train to finish the season in Coolfab. What an amazing end of the year. But look, O'Gorman out in front. How he's done that from the back to the front. We've seen what it's like when he gets pole position and disappears out into
into the distance, but this is a different type of performance from the back. Just having a laugh. Casey O'Gorman is enjoying himself as we've got a yellow flag at a turn one, and Garnis makes the lunge on the inside of Hitchcock. Hitchcock gets him straight back again. Mouncy trying to come through on the inside as well to move up in a third position, but Casey O'Gorman's got a lead once again. Is that a move under yellow flags? I'm not so sure. I think it might have been, and that's a bit of a problem because it was stationary yellow up at that point. That may have been for James Cook. I can't see James Cook anywhere. May have gone down. But uh, this is the battle for the top six. Just in behind Josh Bannister there in yep. seventh place. He's going to have to turn up the Dunsley Heat on that bike. He's just off the back oh, of the Oh, lovely the run. That's Garnis. Garnis makes the bid up to second position past Ryan Hitchcock and zooms past. Brilliant bit of riding there for Garnis out of the left-hand hairpin and charges through on the throttle. Now we've got this tussle between Mouncey and Hitchcock as Mouncey gets up on the inside and takes the place. Very nicely done. So Mouncey is running out in third position now behind Johnny Garnis, your leader Casey O'Gorman. Hitchcock down to fourth. Brinton down to fifth. Those two were first and second on the first lap. Look at how far the... Oh, Casey O'Gorman's gone down! O'Gorman's gone down. You don't say that very often in a season. But Casey O'Gorman has dropped now to seventh place behind Bannister. Oh, my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. So Garnis is now leading it. Mansi second, Hitchcock third. The same track last year. Was it last year? Holly Walker went down. Yep. And we had over four million views for that race. We might be getting four million views for this race because the race lead has just gone down again. Yeah, but look, O'Gorman is still in the mix. He's in seventh place and he has got time to make up places. So he could still work his way through to the front again. Yeah, I can tell you this as well, Jake, in the history of Cool Fab, in the junior races certainly, we've never had anybody crash and still win the race. Is Casey O'Gorman about to add that to his CV? I crashed leading the race, got back on, came back and won it. One of the issues may be the time remaining. I'm not sure he has got enough time remaining. Three laps and change still to go. He's going to have to make short work of those in front he's the fastest man on the track though clearly and he's up to sixth already look there he is having got rid of josh bannister he's now chasing down mason foster if these guys get into a squabble again up front then it could all change this race is not done yet and that's a big lunge up the inside from mouncy makes the move on the inside has to bail out of it so close to riding the curb there and that could have been game over he just got out of that move in time and that was so, so tight for Mouncey. Meanwhile, Casey O'Gorman is sizing up Mason Foster. You can see him through the right-hander as he gets back on the throttle. He may even make the lunge into the airpin. It's absolutely beautiful as you like, and he's in a P5. Amazing stuff. This is a great ride by Sullivan Mouncey, by the way, on the Hyundai Power Equipment bike out front. He's having a good weekend here, Sullivan Mouncey. He'll want to go out on top here, winning this race, but at the moment, He's got to overcome Johnny Garnes, and he's got the fast charge in. Uh, Casey O'Gorman Up in behind. Fifth. There he is on the seven bike. So it's Garnes at Lees from Mouncey. Uh, O'Gorman is still there in fifth, but looking to turn that into fourth, then third, then second, then first. I'm not sure he's going to have enough time left. This this sort of track, Jake, it doesn't matter if you've got a... That's a confirmation, by the way. No one has ever crashed and won since 2015 that we've been filming, in any case. This track is not the sort of track where you can rest on your laurels if you've got a huge lead because of the bumps in the tarmac. He's going to try and get the undercut on Brinson. Oh, dear, he oh, dear. That. He needed that there. I think that could have cost him the race, effectively. If he'd have got by there... It's oh, the watch! He's going to get squeezing up the inside on the left-hand kink. Oh, my word. And now he's going to get the exit out of the next turn. That's put him past Hitchcock and Brinton into P3. I tell you what, I'm going to start looking for cheap villas in Spain. I want to watch this kid again in 2019. Absolutely amazing as these two up front are going to squabble. And if they come to blows, O'Gorman could snatch it from the pair of them. I think that move in the inside hairpin that he didn't get through. He didn't quite get through. It cost him about 10 metres. And you had 10 metres to where he is now. Goodness He'd be right me. on them. I think he's going to come up a little short, but what a ride back through the well, field. Look how quickly he's gaining on the leaders. That is astonishing. One more lap, and I think he'd win this. He's got a Banzai now. Is he going to Banzai? Well, I don't think he's going to make that one stick. Even if he did, he's going to get close, and he's going to try and get good acceleration off the turn. Mounts, he might lose second place, but Garnis is going to get the victory. Here comes O'Gorman to the line. They're going to be side by side. 
wide, and it is Mouncey who just hangs on. So Garnis wins it, Mouncey is second. Casey O'Gorman, third position from the back to the lead, crashed down and retains third place. Hitchcock is fourth, and Brinton is fifth. What a way to bow out of the season in Mini Elite in 2018. That's the best Mini Elite race I have ever seen. Ryan Hitchcock taking a win earlier in the weekend, and despite having fun, inverted commas, this weekend, Casey O'Gorman picked up the earlier race victory, so three different winners from the three races. A very pleasant result indeed. But Casey O'Gorman, of course, is the champion. Over 100 clear of Bailey Stewart Campbell. Brinton, Hitchcock and Mouncey round out the five. What a year!